A while ago, I received a comment on one of my videos asking about the larynx, so I decided to do a video about it because I noticed that I never actually talked about it. <laughs> Welcome to The Voice Guru. My name is John Tracy. I'm a singer, songwriter, voice coach, and I have several degrees in music such as opera and piano and vocal jazz, and I've been performing and teaching for the past 20 years. You should see the larynx as your voice box because this is where the voice is actually sheltered. Now remember, I always say... Now remember, I always say that the voice is sheltered in the body but actually lives in the mind. So even though your voice box is placed here, everything relies on your mental state. And this is actually the point, the entire point of this channel because I wanted to make it obvious how important the connection between your mind and your body is when it comes to the art of singing, but also on a daily basis as well. What is important is that healthy connection between your mind and your body. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. It's totally free, okay? I post daily stories on my Instagram and a few posts a week. So if you want to be part of my life and you want to DM me anytime, I get a lot of requests and I really love it. I appreciate the fact that you guys are... Sorry. <laughs> I, re <laughs> I really appreciate that you guys are actually following and that you enjoy the videos and you comment and you like and you send me messages. So please don't stop doing that because this is my mission in life. My mission right now is to help others and to make the most of what I have to share. And it's really, really very much appreciated when you guys reach out. I'm not going to explain what the larynx is and what it does. You can Google that and I'm sure you have very, very uh, reliable resources online when you check on Google or other websites. Uh, but always make sure you rely on good sources. Now the larynx plays a very important role in singing because depending on where it is placed, it's going to determine the quality of the voice of the sound you are producing when you are singing. I get asked all the time how a singer must position her or his voice naturally. You need to position yourself and your voice in a natural manner. So there is no fabrication of some kind of placement or alignment. The alignment always has to be natural, meaning within the paradigm of your body and yourself. In other words, you're not going to suddenly transform into an elephant just because you want to sing. You're going to stay as you are, but you're going to use everything that you have in order to sing. So the same thing applies to the larynx as well when you are singing, because I don't want to place my larynx somewhere that is actually not natural to my everyday voice or to my everyday body, to my physical mind. Uh, to, to my physical world. So I don't want to change from that. I want to keep it where it is. Meaning, if it's too high and you can actually move the larynx, if you move the, the, the bottom of your tongue up, you can actually move your larynx as well. And if you did it, you notice that everything changes. The pitch, the voice, the quality, how you're producing the sound. Now let's do the opposite. If you try to swallow it down, here's what happens. So the voice becomes very thick and pretty unflexible. So you can do a lot of things with it. What is the perfect formula? Well, the perfect formula is the one that you have right now, the natural placement of your voice and of your larynx. If I place my hands here while I'm speaking, and then I try to sing. I noticed that my larynx didn't actually move. It didn't change placements because I used what I already have in order to produce that sound. So in other words, the perfect position of the larynx is no position at all. Just use what you have right now. Now here, you can actually feel your larynx. You feel that here on both sides, there is a place where you can actually kind of grab it. You can try moving it. So if you are able to move it left and right, it usually means that it's free. So it's a healthy positioning. It's a healthy sound that you're going to be producing with that position. Now, when you're singing, let's say you want to warm up on one exercise, try keeping your hand 
moving your larynx left and right and sing. So, I was able to move it because it was free. And because the sound production was a healthy sound production on the air, of course. Now for the exercises, make sure to actually check out the seven exercises I've uploaded on my website, johnthevoiceguru.com slash exercises. The link is below. Check them out. It's free. You can download not only the score, but also the piano sing-along track. Now what happens if you're singing and you feel that it's really tense? It means you are using the muscles of your throat to sing. We don't want to use the muscles, we want to use the air projection that provokes and makes the vocal cords vibrate in order to produce a sound. If you want more tips on the art of singing, check out the playlist I've also included in this video. So if it is tense, what you could do is place again and find a way to actually just produce the most basic sound on the air. So if I'm here on a C major, let's say, oh. Okay, so <laughs> if I'm here on a, on a C major, let's do a simple, a very, very basic exercise. So, now the voice is kind of vibrating like that, but it's normal because I am moving my larynx, which kind of also explains what happens when you do a vibrato, actually the larynx moves up, up and down. It's as if you're holding on a thread here and it's just the movement of the gravity, okay? But here it's different because I'm moving it left and right. It's not a natural thing for us to move the larynx neck left and right. It only moves when it is able to, which means when it's free. So when it is free, I'm able to just, oh. Now let's say I'm putting my larynx a bit higher. Ah, here I can't really move it. What if I do the opposite? I really take it deeper. Oh, I can't move it either. It's really stuck there. So the only way for it to be free is actually to find its natural position. But you don't need to find it. You already have it. All you have to do is use it. Now it's up to you to do it. Now, one last thing I want to mention in this video is that it's normal for the larynx to tense and untense when we are singing a song, for instance, especially pop songs, because in pop songs, especially nowadays, we want to create those special effects with our voice. But most of those effects are not very natural effects. So these are things that we're fabricating, we're provoking in order to create those sound effects. So when this happens, Chances are your larynx will also be a bit tight, but that's fine as long as you know how to undo it. Singing on a sound effect is an amazing thing that we can develop when we are singing modern music, such as pop music, of course. But it's also better actually to know how to undo these things because we don't want those special effects to become a part of the voice. There are a lot of amazing singers out there nowadays that have 20, 30, or 40 years of career in the music industry, and there are superstars, everyone knows them. But you notice that throughout the years, all those special small things or flaws they had in their voices, they became really huge afterwards. And now we only hear that because they either like it, I don't know, maybe it's their signature, but potentially also because no one told them. So no one told them that, you know, this this thing you're doing with your voice is not very nice, it's not very aesthetic. Why don't you just kind of, you know, tone it down? So I think that's the main issue, but I don't know. I would love to coach a lot of famous singers uh, right now. So if you're watching it, tag them. I haven't been posting a lot of videos this year, but I've been pretty busy with a lot of things, mainly my, uh, my music career. I've been writing and singing, songwriting, and producing a lot of tracks, not just for myself, but for other artists as well. Uh, and I also went back to school, um, studying programming and coding, so I'm pretty proud of myself. But this is very, very demanding from my part. Uh, but I still want to do this uh, channel because this has been my mission for the past three years. Uh, the channel is actually three years now, and I'm pretty happy with what I've done and how I was able to help a lot of you guys out there. Find me on Instagram at Mr. John Tracy and on Facebook at Mr. Tracy. 
I'm John Tracy, and thank you all for watching. Uh...